But the truth is, you can get as much healthy, nutritious food as you want, and only a fraction of what you'd pay on freeze-dried survival food. Here's what it's all about. While I was doing research for my website, I stumbled on a rather weird technique called aquaponics that the people of Gaza were using in an arid war zone. Among falling missiles and mortars, those people are using this method to feed their families, even if they have no water, no money, no fertile soils, no space to grow food, and no time to do it either. I realize that if these people are using it at wartime, it would be the perfect source of food during an extended crisis. I was intrigued by this aquaponic story, so I asked my subscribers if they could help me with more information. The answer came from 8,000 miles away, from arid Australia. It was an aquaponic success story that blew me away. Battling record-setting temperatures and severe water restrictions, this guy had created his own little backyard miracle, spending 20 times less money on a survival stockpile than most preppers would. From a tiny 300-square-foot backyard, every single month he was getting around 80 pounds of juicy tomatoes, 15 pounds of bell peppers, 60 pounds of delicious zucchini, 60 pounds of cucumbers, not to mention onions, beets, radishes, spinach, and even some carrots. On top of that, he was getting about 700 pounds of fish every single year. This sounded too good to be true. The catch? The whole system had cost him $6,000, and because of the climate specifics, it wouldn't even work in the U.S. That was way too much for what I had in mind, but I knew I was onto something, and a crazy idea started growing in the back of my mind. I would find a way to build this for $1,000 or even less, and to help as many people become self-sufficient and prepared for anything. Eventually I found an unbelievably easy way to make your own aquaponics that cost three times less than what I was hoping for. But before I get to that, let me explain what aquaponics is all about. In simple words, an aquaponics system is a pocket-sized garden of Eden, where fish and plants sustain each other in an almost perfect balance. The plants purify the water for the fish, while the fish do all the hard work for you, fertilizing the plants with their waste. You get tasty fish and juicy vegetables almost without lifting a finger. Aquaponics is a happy marriage between the soilless practice of hydroponics and fish farming. You may have heard of hydroponics. It requires very little space, gives high yields throughout the year, and even NASA is using it in space. Yet it's also complicated to set up, requires a lot of water, and the nitrogen-rich plant food can be very expensive. Fish farming, on the other hand, gives all the protein you need to survive that you simply can't get from tomatoes or broccoli. But it's also impractical and dirty. It creates a lot of waste that's toxic to the fish, and filtering the waste can get really expensive, really fast. Aquaponics gets the best from hydroponics and fish farming, with none of the drawbacks. The ammonia-rich fish waste is turned into the perfect plant food. While in turn the plants purify the water for the fish, it's a win-win-win for the plants, the fish, but mostly for you, because there's no watering required, no fertilizing, no bending, and actually no real work. Learning about aquaponics got me really excited, but also a little frustrated. It seemed that all the stuff I could find on the internet was either confusing or downright worthless. The books I read lacked essential details and were too academic and complex. And the people I talked to were just weekend enthusiasts who couldn't help me with my goal. But I kept hearing stories about a professor who knew a way to make aquaponic systems, just as good as the retail ones, for just a few hundred bucks. His name was Nate Story a very unusual Ph.D. and part-time inventor, whose main specialty and passion was in designing high-density vertical aquaponic systems. After a few minutes with him on the phone, I instantly knew I was talking to one of the most knowledgeable experts on Earth in aquaponics. I paid Nate for his time and asked him whether he could help me build a simple, inexpensive, yet powerful aquaponic system with long-term survival in mind and on one more condition. I didn't want any academic mumbo-jumbo. This had to be so simple, my 12-year-old would be able to build it. Nate did a lot more than that. We brainstormed together what would make the ultimate survival aquaponics blueprint for the absolute beginner who has zero DIY experience. But he also agreed to show me how it's done, step by step, in front of the camera. I provided the survival and preparedness knowledge while Nate brought his 10 years of aquaponics research. The result was nothing short of amazing. A simple step-by-step -step blueprint that anyone can use to make their own aquaponic system the lazy way. Our total costs? Just $190. That included $40 for a pair of extra hands, and $75 on a part that we could have probably gotten for free. We packaged that material into the first ever program on survival aquaponics. And we called it Backyard Liberty, the smart, easy way to food independence.
After we finished it, I showed it to a very small, select group of my best friends and readers. Robert said, Alec, I went to the material twice. I can't believe how easy this is. It took me two hours to put the system together, and at every single step, I felt like you guys were there with me to guide me. Olivia said, I now feel some sort of inner peace that I never had before. We know we'll have plenty of food no matter what happens. And before Backyard Liberty, it just wasn't the case. And here's what Max Slavo, the owner of shtfplan.com, had to say. This is hands down the most easy to use aquaponics instructional guide I've ever seen. When we talk about preparedness, food sustainability is at the top of the list. And with Backyard Liberty, you get just that. It's a complete homegrown system that will ensure your survival in the event of long-term interruptions to our food supply. Imagine, $190 for a system, and then maybe another 100 bucks in yearly costs, for a lifetime of healthy, disaster-proof food. It's probably the simplest, easiest to use, A to Z blueprints, that anyone can use to make their own food with aquaponics. No matter if you have no money to spend on building a survival stockpile, no matter if you don't have the time or patience to learn a fun, exciting new survival skill. No matter if you've never built anything before, or if you've never done any gardening in your entire life. Look, when I discovered aquaponics, I knew that I had found a gold mine. The benefits are nothing short of amazing. You hardly need any water. In a survival scenario, when the public water supply system is down, or an extended heat wave dried up all the wells, whatever water you have will go towards quenching your family's thirst. The Backyard Liberty Aquaponics System uses 10% of the water used in conventional gardening because all the water is recycled between the fish tank and the growing beds. So you never lose water to soil absorption, only through evaporation. That also means you'll recoup your investment fast because you no longer have to pay for water, especially if you live in a dry area. It's probably the only way to grow food in colder areas like New England in the middle of winter. In fact, we shot the video in January and you can still see the snow. Unlike regular gardening, with aquaponics you'll still have plenty of food in the cold months. Aquaponics requires about half the space you need for gardening. Combine it with the way you grow your vegetables vertically, and it takes even less space. Palestinians are actually doing aquaponics on rooftops. So you don't even need a backyard. Heck, you can even put one up in your basement. Using less space means that it's easier to protect from looters, and also easier to keep it a secret from a nosy neighbor. Plus, there's no fertilization required. Just feed the fish, and the fish will fertilize the plants. When all you do is feed the fish for five minutes, and harvest the vegetables for another five, this gives you crucial time to do more important things in a crisis. While others will be busy dumpster diving for food, your miniature food factory takes care of itself. You'll have more time to protect your family, to learn a valuable skill you can barter with, or be the Rick Grimes of your community. There's no bending required. You grow your vegetables in raised growing beds. So if you suffer from a bad back, you don't have to worry about straining it at the worst of times. And now, you too can join in on the miracle of aquaponics. Here's my promise to you. If you can push play and watch a short video once, you'll have all you need to make your own pocket-sized Garden of Eden and have a perpetual source of food for a crisis. If spending tens of thousands of dollars on a long-term food stockpile is not your idea of preparedness, if you want to be food independent and to put healthy, nutritious food on your table, even in a disaster situation. And if you ever wanted a fun, simple way to build a virtually unlimited long-term stockpile, almost on autopilot, with only 10 minutes a day of easy maintenance, then this is it. A disaster-proof, recession-proof, drought-proof, year-round pocket-sized garden that will give you all the high-protein, vitamin-rich food you and your family will need in a coming collapse. It's a step-by-step, newbie-friendly program that will take you by the hand and put fresh food on your table in as little as four weeks, so you can slash your grocery bill almost immediately, without having to wait for a disaster to happen. But most of all, it will give you the peace of mind that comes from knowing that should a disaster strike, your family won't be at the mercy of others. The Backyard Liberty Program is jam-packed with all the knowledge you'll need to have a super success with aquaponics, not in years of trial and error, but in as little as a month. In this program, we'll show the perfect alternative to a $4,000 fish tank. At $75, this is the most expensive part of the system, but sometimes it's even free to collect. It took Nate Story 10 years to refine this method, sweat and literally tears to see it finally work. But in the program, we're giving our foolproof shortcut so that you don't have to make the same rookie mistakes all over again. Aquaponics can be super easy and almost hands-free, but only when you have the whole recipe and not just bits and pieces. We'll show you how to grow big juicy tomatoes that would make your neighbors envious. 
and wait until they see your radishes, broccoli, or even carrots. Lots of folks are saying that you can't grow carrots with aquaponics, but we'll show you a simple technique that lets you grow almost everything you want. Unlike survival food, you won't have to wait for a crisis in order to enjoy your food. Since I took up aquaponics, I slashed my grocery bill by more than $180 a week. Some people don't pay a dime on groceries anymore. That's thousands of dollars in yearly savings that you can enjoy starting with your first crop. You don't even need a backyard. We'll show you how to grow on a rooftop, in a garage, or even in a basement. Heck, you can even grow strawberries in winter, with a special technique we'll share with you. You'll discover three sturdy species of fish that you don't have to babysit. And a popular one 